In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to build a WordPress site from scratch in 2020. This tutorial is perfect for beginners or if you want to dip your feet into the waters with blogging using WordPress. Here's what I'll be covering. How to log into WordPress through your hosting. How to choose a free theme that looks great for your niche. How to customize the header and footer of your blog. How to add blog posts and pages to your site. And how to configure your menus, widgets, and plugins. And another thing, I get a lot of emails saying, well, Steve, I've installed this theme and it doesn't look anything like the picture. Well, don't worry, I'll be showing you how to do that too. But before we get started, if this is your first time to my channel, I just wanna introduce myself. My name is Steve, and on my channel, you'll get the best tips, tricks and online product reviews to help kickstart your affiliate marketing business online in 2020. So please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to support my channel. Any support is greatly appreciated. Okay, everyone, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do if you want to set up a blog is to find somewhere to host it. So the hosting company that I use personally and the hosting company that I recommend is a website called Bluehost, bluehost.com. There's a number of different reasons why I recommend Bluehost. First of all, it's one of the cheapest. As you can see, it, the offer right now is $3.95 a month. I actually think I pay more than that every month. So there must be a special offer on right now. So if, you can, if you're seeing this video, later on and you're seeing a higher price than that you may want to wait for it to come back down or contact them and find see if there's any discount available there's another reason why i recommend bluehost in that it's also recommended by wordpress themselves so it comes with wordpress preloaded so if you're you know you're technically challenged and you prefer to kind of stay away from installing things then bluehost is definitely for you because it comes pre-packaged with WordPress and like I say it's actually recommended by WordPress themselves okay so if you go to bluehost.com or if you want to click on the link below for Bluehost and hopefully you'll see the same discount there let's click get started okay so you get a, a number of different packages here if you feel like you're only going to be using your hosting for the one website then you can go ahead and get the basic package however the one i recommend is the 495 a month plus package purely because you get unlimited websites and unlimited storage so if you feel you might want to create more blogs in the future you can go ahead and do that and not have to pay for any more hosting with all these different bluehost plans you get a free domain for a year and you also get a free SSL certificate, which is basically a badge to show that your website is secure. Okay, so let's go ahead and select plus. Okay, next we'll set up your domain. So we can create a new domain here or use a domain you already own. As your package comes with a domain, I recommend doing this now. If you are stuck for domain ideas, there's a couple of different options available to you. You can go to a website called nameboy.com and nameboy will give you suggestions of what to call your blog now there's a couple of different strategies available for blog naming you can simply call it your own name or you can call it the name of your business or if you're in a particular niche you might want to go for a blog name in that particular business for the purposes of this demo i'm going to be setting up a fishing blog I'm not a fisher myself. I don't know why I came up with the fishing idea. It's just something I had in my mind earlier on before I recorded this video. So if I type in fishing blog into name boy, oh, fishing, don't know what that is. Fishing blog. And it should give, a, give us some ideas of what we can name our blog and if the domain is available. And we've got tons of different options here. And yeah, fishing blog online. I like that one. Fishingblog.co is not available. Yeah, you, you've got different options here, and you can always you know type in something else, and you might already have something in your mind, and you want to check if it's available. Okay, so go ahead and create your domain and click next. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to say I'll create my domain later. But as it's free for you, you really want to go ahead and do it now. And here's where you enter your account information. So enter in your name, 
your country, your address, your zip code, etc., and your email. The email is the important one here because it's how Bluehost is going to be sending you correspondence. You then want to pick your package information. Now, the price goes down depending on how long you sign up for. So, if you want to sign up for 12 months, you are going to be paying slightly more. With these package extras, I would actually deselect them all. You don't need any of these to start your own blog, certainly not to start off with. And the theme of my channel is doing things on a budget, so I would not recommend clicking any of these for now. Enter in your credit card details, submit, and away you go. Okay, so you sort of signed up to Bluehost and received a, an email with your login details. I'm gonna go ahead and log in here from the website, and I'll see you inside there in a moment. Okay, I'm just in my Bluehost account admin panel now, and you should see something that looks very similar to this. This is my primary Bluehost domain here, which is a Bluehost supplied domain. I've actually run out of domains to use, so I'm just gonna use a subdomain for the purposes of this demo. Don't worry if that sounded too technical. All you need to know is that from here, you need to, or should pick the domain that you created when you set up your site. So you should see it here. If you don't see it here, go to domains on the left-hand side and add it. With my sites, I've already got a couple of sites set up on this hosting, but for the purposes of this demo, I'm gonna add a new site. Okay, so when you first go to set up your WordPress site, you should see a menu similar to this. Site name, so I can't remember what I wanted to call my fishing website, but let's just say um, fish, why did I type fish again? Fish mania blog. Um, I'm gonna say probably the best fishing blog in the world. Okay, so your site name is gonna be fish mania blog and your tagline, which is gonna go under your site name, probably the best fishing blog in the world. So I'm just gonna click next. Your domain here, you're gonna to wanna to choose the same domain name that you picked and set up during the signup process. I'm gonna go ahead and create a subdirectory for mine called example. You don't do this guys, okay? Just pick your domain. Help for free plugins. Now, depending on which hosting you guys go with, because you might not have gone with Bluehost and that is fine. Um, they come prepackaged with a bunch of different plugins aimed to help you. Now, I prefer to customize my plugins and I feel like a lot of plugins are unnecessary and they're just there slowing down your website. So I'm gonna actually deselect all of these. Again, if you're using a different hosting package, they'll come with their own plugins. Your menu's gonna look different. Let's click next. Okay guys, so I'm now in the dashboard of my WordPress blog. This is basically the admin panel of where you can kind of customize your theme and do all the kind of admin updates that you need to do. This is this may look slightly different depending on what hosting you are using. You likely find that your hosting has come prepackaged with different plugins. The important thing to note is that all the important options on the left will still be the same. Dashboard, posts, pages, plugins, appearance, users, tools and settings should all be there. Okay? So what I'm gonna do first of all, I'm gonna do a couple of key things so that ensure that we can get our blog up and running smoothly so that we don't encounter any problems moving on. So first things first, I noticed here a coming soon active button that appears in the orange. I think this is um, something to do with or a blue a Bluehost um, item that comes automatically activated. So basically what this says is until you get your blog looking the way you want it to, it'll show a coming soon page instead. I wanna go ahead and then turn that off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to cache in here. I'm gonna to to scroll down to cache settings. And we can see here, Bluehost coming soon page. I'm gonna click off and I'm gonna save changes, okay? So I just wanna make sure that we're not seeing that, that we're seeing our actual site. You may or may not have that, depending on which hosting you're using. Okay, cool. So I, I, if I go to the top left-hand side here and scroll over the name of my blog, Fish Mania Blog, we'll see a visit icon button here. So I'm gonna right-click on that, open link in new tab, and just to give you an idea of what currently my blog looks like, probably not very good, as we've just installed it. So I've just clicked on it, and yeah, we can see here. So at the moment, it's a bit of a mess. It's a bit all over the place. It just doesn't look the best. So let's go ahead and change that. So let's get off that. 
So first things first, you're going to want to install a WordPress theme, and this is going to dictate how the appearance of your blog is going to look like. Now, there's one thing I want to make sure you know moving forward, and if you've been a member of my channel for a while, you know the theme of my channel is doing things on a budget. You absolutely do not need a paid theme to be successful with WordPress and to have a great looking blog. You do not. There's absolutely tons of different themes out there, free themes that look great, work great, and you can be successful with. So don't go out there and spend any money on premium themes unless you really want to, because the free themes do the job just fine. So let's install a theme. So if you go to the left-hand side menu here and you hover over appearance and you see a button here called themes, let's click that. And this is gonna give us different options for themes. So we, we can see we've got some themes here already, but not too many. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on add new theme here. You may also have a button at the top here that says add new theme. Either one is fine. And we're gonna search the WordPress library for different themes. So as we can see, we've got multiple different search options here. If we click on popular, and we should be brought up with all the popular and the majority of these will be free or at least have some sort of free version. So yeah, you can go ahead and browse through these and pick something that you like. So there's two free themes that I've used in the past um, and they were called, the first one was called Alien. So if you go here to the search bar, you can actually search via name. So I'm gonna go search Alien as the name of the theme. And as you can see from the thumbnail here, it's a very, very clean, slick looking, minimalistic theme, I believe the word would be. And I'm, I'm a big fan of simple themes because when it comes down to blogging, it's all about your content. I don't think it's about what your, you know, what your blog looks like, all these fancy tricks, you know, pop-ups and things like that. I'm a big believer in doing things simply. And there's another key reason for that as well, in that you want your WordPress blog to be fast. Recent studies have shown that the number one thing that affects sales on websites is speed of website. And there's a lot of people out there who do not have stable, fast internet connections. And a lot of people use mobile guys. So you really wanna be aiming for speed with your website. And having a simple blog without a lot of bloat is one of the best ways to do that. So I really like Alien. So I'm gonna go ahead and preview it. And you'll notice something straight away now. You're gonna to say to yourself, oh my God, that doesn't look very good. Why does it not look like the thumbnail? And it doesn't look like the thumbnail because we've simply not set it up. We've not got the content that they have on the thumbnail. It's not gonna look the same. And that's a common question I've had in the past from my viewers is, I'm trying to install a WordPress theme, but when I do it, it just does not look like the photos. How can I get it to look like the photos? And we'll show you. But yeah, Alien is a, you know, a great blogging theme. It can look really, really awesome. It's simple to set up and I, I used it for a few months and I found it good. There's another theme which I'd like to show you and is the theme I'm gonna be using in this tutorial and it is called Hemingway. Here it is. So again, a minimalistic looking, but great, great theme. And I really like the hero image at the top here. Um, you know, it adds a certain theme, a certain brand into your website and you scroll down and you know, you've got your blog post and stuff here. Again, this doesn't look very great because it's not set up with our content. So I'm going to go ahead and install this theme. So go ahead, search for Hemingway and install this theme or install one that you found that you prefer up to you, but click on install to get rolling. installed and once it's installed you're going to want to click activate okay so that has now been activated and we can see it's come up here Hemingway has in our list of themes so I just want to go ahead and check what that currently looks like so if I go to the top left have hover over Fishmania blog again and click visit site I wanna see what it's currently looking like without me doing anything to it. So at the moment, it's very bare. Um, there's a few things that I don't really want on my website and I'm, I'm happy we've got this kind of image. I think it looks cool. We will change it though, because 
I want my fishing blog to have fishing branding. Um, you know, depending on what you're blogging for, cooking, weight loss, mental health, um, some popular ones that people have emailed me about recently, things like that. But let's go with fish. So let's go back into the menu. So what we want to go ahead and do is we want to start customizing our theme so that it looks the way we want it to. So if you scroll over the left over to appearance again, and you go down, not to themes this time, but to customize. And we can start doing this. Now, WordPress is is almost like a an oxymoron. I mean, it's both simple and both difficult. So I guess easy to pick up, hard to master. And there's all sorts of different plugins and page builders and things like that out there, guys. Element or Divi and things like that. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm showing you the simplest way possible to get up and run in. If you want to go ahead and view something more advanced, I'm probably going to do something another video in the future. Okay, so this is the WordPress inbuilt editor, and it's all we need to get up and run in with Hemingway. So let's take a look at these options here one by one. So on site identity, uh, click on that. So we can either have it as it is with fish mania blog and my tagline which i already entered in so we've got those two there you can add and remove these by clicking this button or you can go ahead and if you have a logo already if you've designed one or if you've got a logo from another website you want to use you can use the logo instead so you click select logo here and you would simply drag and drop the file here and then select it okay that's all you need to do okay so that's site identity with colors so I don't really want to mess around with the colors on this too much because I think it looks good. I really want this background color to be this color already because it makes the text really, really easy to read. However, this accent color, so it's the link that your buttons and your links are going to be. Um, I do quite like it, but I want more of a, well, I suppose it is kind of a kind of aqua fishing color, but I want something a bit more blue. Um, yeah. I, I quite like that. Yeah, I quite like that. We'll go with that one. So we'll go back. So yeah, all the buttons and links are now going to be that color instead. Header image. Okay, so this is this big, what we would call a hero image in the background. So you can always, you know, you can leave it as the Hemingway image. You know, it does have a certain warmth about it. However, I want to change it to a fishing based image. So I've gone and pre-downloaded a bunch of fishing images already for the purposes of this tutorial. However, if you want to go ahead and search some high quality royalty free image is I recommend a website called unsplash.com unsplash.com and this is a fantastic website that has royalty free images in pretty much any different category you would imagine. So I went on here and I typed in fishing and I just pulled a bunch of different images related to fishing but some of the work on your guys is incredible so if you click on nature and be prepared to be stunned um, I could spend hours on this website I mean just look at how awesome some of the images are on this website and you can go ahead and you can download these and use them on your own websites on your own social media this is a royalty free website and the people on you are so talented and um, annoyingly talented actually <laughs> but there we go so you're going to find some great images here guys for you to use so i simply typed in fishing and i found some awesome stuff okay so unsplash.com really great so let's go back to our blog so i want to change this image from this lovely barn to something fishing related so let's click on add new image so you can either click select files here and upload your images or you can drag and drop them so i'm going to open my fishing folders folder since i'm now such a big fisherman and i'm going to drag and drop my photos into wordpress so i think for the hero image let's go with this one actually let's go with this one okay so it's giving us the option to crop so this is what the image will show so let's go with let's go with this 
and there we go cool so already I mean I really like that so it's given my blog kind of like a an atmospheric look um, I really really like it so um, yeah I think we're off to a good start right this is already well on the way to be in probably the best fishing blog in the world I'm sure you will agree cool so that's our he hero image so let's go back and for background image now I don't want a background image here because it's gonna make text difficult to read so let's leave that blank and menus okay so we're not going to do anything with the menu here guys because we're going to actually going to build our menu here inside uh, the wordpress menus widget so don't worry about this section for now and widgets here okay so we can already see we've got footer a b and c so our footer here and we've got our sidebar here so the only thing i really want to do with this at this point is that i think this sidebar personally is too cluttered and it's got a lot of stuff we don't really need we we certainly don't need this meta section here so if we click on sidebar let's edit that first and if we go down to meta click on the arrow and then click remove and it's going to get rid of the meta from our website so now we're just left with recent posts recent comments archives and categories so i think recent posts is great and also categories as well i don't think it's relevant to have recent comments in the sidebar so we're going to remove that and we definitely don't need archives right now because well, it's a new blog so with nothing really to archive so let's get rid of archives just to clean this website up and let's get rid of recent comments so we're left with a search box which is really handy recent posts so posts you make the titles and links will appear here and your categories so we'll set those up later on but yeah i think that sidebar is a lot cleaner now click back so we do have some footer options here um i'm gonna leave this footer as it is because like i say i i want to keep my blog minimalistic so we've got fish menu blog here on our copyright theme by Anders Norren who is the creator of this theme we'll remove that later on sorry Anders we'll go back to that okay and home page settings so your there's two different options with WordPress how to have your home page you can have either your latest posts appear on your front page like we've got here or you can have a static page so you might want a page that never really changes as opposed to your latest posts which is going to change when you make new posts i think it's better to just have your blog pages on the front page you want people to see what your latest updates are etc so let's leave it as latest posts feel free to play around if you want a static page you can then put your blog page on another page on your site okay so let's leave that as latest posts let's go back and additional CSS you don't need to worry about that for now that's if you're going to put paste in some CSS code to change any of this right now I think we're we're good we're up and running so let's go up here and click on publish and that is gonna save and push our changes to the live website isn't this exciting okay so that's done so let's click on the X and go back to our dashboard so what I want to do next is I actually want to start to put some posts on the front page just because we'll get a better idea about what our blog is going to look like and it also is going to you know look much nicer with some demo content on. So let's click on posts. So you'll be getting used to these menu um, sections piece by piece but the really important ones guys are posts, pages, appearance and then plugins, users, tools. But the key thing to you note here is posts is simply your blog posts and pages is the different pages on your website. Things like your home page, you might want an about me section, you might want a contact page, etc. So let's click on posts and let's just put in some placeholder content for now, just so we can get a better understanding of how it's going to look. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to click add new. We do have one here already, hello world, that comes with WordPress and that is Oh, I haven't updated my blog this is from before and this is this post here but that looks a bit naff let's get something that looks better so let's click on add new and you'll do this anytime you want to make a new blog post 
Welcome to the block editor. So click an X on that. So we can see here we've got the WordPress blog editor. So add in the title for your post. So let's just say, um, so I'm a fishing blog, so I need to come up with some fishing titles, don't I? Carp fishing versus, I, I don't know any types of fishing, versus tuna fishing. Sorry guys, if any of you are into fishing, I just don't know um, anything about it. So. I don't really know if that's a real thing or not. And I'm just gonna, for the sake of this demo, populate my blog post with some dummy content. So to do that, I'm just gonna use some good old Roman lorem ipsum. And I'm just gonna copy and paste from here, just some dummy content and paste that here. Cool. So this is kind of like what it's gonna look like. So if you go to the right hand side here and you click on document, you've got your different features on how to edit this blog post. So we've got status and visibility here. So when we click on publish, it's gonna to go to public. You might wanna keep it as private. You might wanna password protect it, it's up to you. You can also have your blog post published immediately or you can schedule it for a different time. This is an interesting format here, stick to the top of the blog. So essentially this creates a sticky post. So if you want a particular blog post to always be at the top, it might be something that you always want your visitors to see before they see anything else. It might be instructions, it might be a welcome, it might even be something that you temporarily want at the top, you know, it might be an important bit of up to the date news, up to date news, sorry. You can click the sticky. So we won't do this for now, we'll do this later on. That's that. Categories. So categories is really, really important, guys. Categories essentially gives your viewers different filters to be able to search through your blog posts. So for example, you know, I might have a category on carp fishing, I might have a category on tuna fishing, freshwater fishing, you know, you might even have you know, if your blog is a news blog, you might have a category for fashion, one for music, one for film, one for travel, you know. You can really you can add categories, you can even add categories within categories, okay? Let's leave that for now, we'll add those later on. Tags, different tags for your posts. Featured image, so this is important. So featured image is the image that's gonna appear in your blog post menu. Now there was no featured image for this placeholder blog. We'll add one in just so you can see what it looks like. I always recommend to put a featured image, guys, unless, unless you absolutely do not want images there because I just think blog posts look better with an image. That's me personally, it's up to you. Excerpt, so excerpt is what is gonna appear here as opposed to the full unfiltered article. You can always write a custom excerpt here. However, for the this theme, generally the way it goes, it presents a lot of the information on the blog post page. So let's leave this for now. You can see what it looks like and edit that later if you want to and discussion, you want to allow comments, you want to allow pinbacks, which is um, links from other websites. I'd leave those on for now. Unless you get a lot of spam, then you can always turn them off. Okay, so for the, I'm gonna set a featured image here and I'm gonna to go to upload files and I'm just going to drag and drop another blog post, uh, sorry, another fishing image that I downloaded earlier. And yeah, let's use this one. So click on set featured image. You can put things in here like a caption and a description and you can put some alt text in there which is for people who are, have site difficulties. And then click set image. It's also good for SEO. So let's go up and let's publish this blog post and see what it looks like. I'm ready. Don't know about you guys. Okay, so that's done. So if you click on your blog post and let's refresh this page and we should see that new tuna or carp versus tuna blog post appear. And we can see my lovely featured image here and my placeholder text. And you know, if someone wants to review the full article, they can click on the image or they can click on the link here. So you know, it's starting to shape up. It's starting to look like a fishing blog and it's also appeared here in recent posts. The more posts you do, you're gonna have more here. I personally like to set the limit of this to like three three to five, because you don't want as many to get massive. By default, 
WordPress allows, I think it's 10 blog posts on the first page, okay? So let's go ahead and set that up. So that's the first one. And what I'm gonna do now, guys, is for the purpose of this demo, I'm gonna stop recording, I'm gonna add a few more blog posts just so you can see what it's gonna look like at the end. Okay guys, so what I've done is I've created a few more blog posts here for Fishermania blog. Catch your own dinner this evening, learn to swim before you sink, whatever fishing rod works best, etc. So I added these the exact same way I added the first one. As you can see now, my blog is really taking shape and we've also got our list of recent posts here. Um, apologies, I couldn't really think of anything better for the post titles, I mean, I've I've been completely exposed as a non-fisherman here. Um, I mean, I'm from the UK, a fishing country. I've never been fishing. I mean, I live in Thailand, which is also a fishing country, and I've still never been fishing. So I, I guess I need to just get on it. But there we go. So my fishing blog is starting to really look, I think, quite cool now. And um, yeah, it's uh, really taking shape. So a few things that we still need to do here now, we need to do a navbar menu and we also need to sort out our categories. This is very, very important. So let's go and do that. Okay, so let's go back to the dashboard so that we're able to set up our categories. So on the left hand side, if you go to posts, you will be able to see categories here and click on that. And we're just going to add our various different categories here. So again, you know, if you had a, a blog website talking about multiple different things, you might want to add, you know, film, music, travel, etc. Even really narrow down on category, you know, have um, particular countries, Thailand, America, Australia, etc. But for the purpose of this fishing blog, I'm just going to add a few um, fishing related terms here. So um, I don't know, rods, let's have one as. So add that um, bait. Oops, I should have capitalized that. Let's delete that. Bait fish boats. <laughs> Again, I don't really know really know what to put so boats fish bait and rods okay so we've now got some categories so if you click back onto posts here and we're going to assign these posts to different categories and i'll show you the effect that has now in a moment so quick way of doing this is if you go to hover over the post you want to assign a category to and click click edit and you can assign a category here so uncheck and categorized and then click the category you want and click update and we'll do the same for this one we'll do uncheck that and do fish and quick edit we'll uncheck that and do boats update and quick edit we'll uncheck that and do bait okay so we can see these posts have now got categories assigned to them so if we go to our blog and we refresh a couple of changes will have happened and we can see our category section on the right hand side now has our four different categories and our posts will be related to one of these categories so we can go ahead and create a menu based on categories so this makes it really really easy for your users to find um, posts based on the topics that they want to they want to search for it. so let's go back to posts and let's go to if we scroll down to Plugins, nope, I've forgotten what it is. Yeah, appearance and menus, because we want to create a menu. And this menu then will be our menu going across here, and it'll have our various different categories in. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're not going to use this menu, we're going to create a new menu. Okay, and we're going to add our various pages and basically whatever we want to this menu. now. We don't have a sample page anymore we do but we don't want it so click on the arrow and remove we do want a home page link though because i think that's very very helpful so we'll keep this there um you want to click on primary menu because this is the primary menu so we want to add things to this so if we had other pages they would appear here um, you can also add posts to the menu but what we want to add here is 
categories. And custom links is essentially if you want to add a link to move outside of your website. So if you wanted to add a link to go to YouTube or something like that, you could add that here. But let's go to categories and we're going to add our four categories by selecting them and then clicking add to menu. And they should appear here. And you can drag and drop these and rearrange them however you want. You can also add subcategories as well. But let's leave it like this for now. And let's click save. And now if we go and refresh our blog page, we can see we've got our different menus here. And what's cool about this is that, you know, we've got our home page here with our different blog posts on, our latest blog posts on. Uh, but if I clicked on rods, fishing rods, it would only have the posts that have a category of rods and the same for fish, the same for boats, etc. So you can see why now we've done this. It allows the users to easily navigate your website and is also essential for search engine optimization. Much better to rank in Google with. So I want to add another section to this website. So this is essential and this is where you're going to be putting your personal brand in. So I want, I really want an about me section on this website. So if we go back to menus, now, as this about me section is going to be a page by itself, we're going to need to add that page before it'll appear here in the menu section. So if we've almost exclusively operated via the posts page so far, the posts section, let's go to pages and see what's up. So we've got a privacy policy page, which we don't need as we're just a blog and a sample page, which I removed from that menu. So we don't need these. We can actually go ahead and trash them just to clear things up. any moment now sorry my thailand internet not the best cool so let's add a page so this is going to be the about me page this is really really important guys for your own branding or whether you're an affiliate marketer and you push an affiliate offers the key to this is you want to be able to brand yourself and you want to be able to tell your story. So whether you're running affiliate offers or blogs in different niches people are going to want to know who you are the reason for that is if they know who you are, they're more likely to come back and visit you. If they feel like you've helped them, they're more likely to buy from you, etc. This works in any type of niche, whether you're an affiliate marketer, content marketer, just a blogger for fun. You want to be able to brand yourself. So I'm going to create a page saying about me. And, you know, you want to populate this with information and photos of yourself. I'm going to use Laura Mipson again, just for the purposes of this demo. Okay. And I simply want to actually do you know what I'm going to go to my blog and I'm going to copy paste I'm going to go to my blog collective marketing online and I'm going to go to about and I'm gonna I suppose I could copy paste all this couldn't I let's go down copy paste this in and this is all about me so let's get rid of this and I'm just going to copy paste all this information about me I'm a big fan of the Goonies. And there's me. And there's me and some friends. So let's publish this now to our About Me page. And if we go ahead and refresh the blog in a moment, once it's updated, we can go ahead and see, hopefully, what that looks like. Uh, I have not added it to the menu, I just realized. So let's go back into WordPress, click the left hand icon here. And if we go down to appearance, then go to menus. So we need to add about me, the page we just created to our menu here, select it, add to menu and then save. Okay. So let's go into here, refresh. And then we've got a nice about me link here. Click on that. And there we have all my about me stuff. Okay, cool. So I think that, you know, I think our fishing blog is ready to go and I think it looks pretty cool as well, you know? So a couple, just a couple of more things I want to show you before I leave you in this tutorial is I want to show you how to do a sticky post like I talked about earlier. And I'm also going to remove this credit here in the footer. Sorry, Anders. So let's do a sticky post here. So if we go into posts and it's really, really easy to do, edit one of your posts 
I mean, you can even do this when you're creating it, and you simply check the stick at the top of the bog box here, and then click update. And what this does, it not only keeps it at the top of the blog, but it also marks it as a sticky. So this is what it looks like right now. If I refresh, we can see how Hemingway has marked the carp fishing versus tuna fishing blog as a sticky post. So even though this was made first, it's actually always going to stick at the top and all of the posts we make are going to stick below it. I think that looks quite cool. So yeah, I think this looks really, really awesome so far, got to be honest. So let's go down and let's remove this. So you're not able to do this inside here with any kind of options, guys. So what I did, I simply Googled Hemingway WordPress remove, and I'm pretty sure someone's going to have asked that question. Remove credit in footer. So let's click on that and see what we've got to do. How do I move the credits? Okay, so Anders himself has replied. Apologies, Anders, that I'm removing you from your WordPress theme that has been downloaded millions of times. I can't feel too bad for you, sorry. So you want to copy paste this code here. Don't get scared guys, it's just code. And if you go into appearance and themes and you're gonna paste it into the section that says more, sorry, appearance and then customize. And you're gonna paste it into the section that asks for additional CSS. Don't go playing around with this unless you know what you're doing, but paste that code in, click publish. Da, 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 da. And yeah, and you've just got the app, which takes people back to the top of the block. And you know, you can customize this footer even further. So if you go down to widgets and footer A, B and C just relates to which column. So imagine this is three columns, one, two, three, middle, right and left. And you can, so this is A, this is C. And you, what you can do is you can click on one of these and then click add a widget and you can add anything you want in here. Now, if you want archive posts to show up here, if you want a calendar to show here, if you want an image gallery to show here, RSS feed, like you can have pretty much anything you want as long as it has a widget. But for the purposes of this demo, I think this looks pretty awesome already. One more refresh for the road. And there we have it, guys. So here's my fish mania block rather snazzy okay that's it i hope that wasn't too difficult and you were able to follow along correctly as you can see it's very very easy to get a great looking blog in your niche up and running in no time so if you guys liked that video and you want to support my channel please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons below or if you have any questions regarding this video or how to set up an online business in 2020 please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do my best to respond individually.